Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Chrissy's Point of View. I am Chrissy and today we are going to talk about being anxious. Uh, it happened to me today about something and I said to myself, I say I am going to have faith because I am going to, I must practice what I preach. So I was supposed to drop off something at a particular time before that particular office closed and I totally forgot and time got away from me today, right? Because I was busy doing other things and then a friend reminded me that I needed to do so. So the office closes at 4 p.m. and I am now getting ready and everything at 10 past 3, right? I also had to print out some stuff but my printer is not working so there's a place where I print out my stuff that is not too far from my house so I send the stuff there to print and I, I got ready to go by the time that had that had happened by the time I send the stuff to print it was already around 3 30 3 38 so it's a, it was about 20 to 4 close to 20 to 4 and the office that I had to reach for 4 was like about 10 minutes drive away so then I went to the place get my prints they didn't print the stuff yet I had to wait on that so that took up time by the time they print this stuff and I envelope it and everything the time I looked at the time it was 3 53 p.m. <laughs> so I was like okay God I need you to stop the time for me today I I do not care what anybody else is doing for me today you need to stop the time I had that type of faith today I had the desire to reach and I said it with my mouth that time has to stop for me in order for me to reach that place before 4 p.m. said all traffic lights will be green for me and any traffic that is in my way will move out my way. <laughs> so by the time I reached to the main road, <laughs> the road was almost clear and when I reached in the heavy traffic area traffic was moving but as I said I said with my mouth the light was green so I didn't have to stand up at the red light thank God I didn't have to stand up on the red light so in two in a few minutes I was near to the place but here's this you see anxiety tends to confuse the mind I had all this confidence that I know where this place was and remember I had said all lights will be green for me so there was this corner right before the light and after the light that is where I thought I had to turn but I was actually supposed to turn the corner before and the light ahead the light was red and I had said that I will not be standing up in any red light but I disobeyed my own affirmation and I turned down the wrong street y'all I turned down the wrong street <laughs> oh my god it was like this is not this street <laughs> I turned down the wrong street I passed the street where I was supposed to turn down straight <laughs> so I am on the wrong street right and I didn't notice that I was on the wrong street until I went to drop off the stuff and they told me no that is not it is not the here it is the other street so I know I am on foot and I watch the time and it is 3 58 <laughs> 3 58 p.m. and I <laughs> I didn't run like a mad lady but I am now walking as fast as possible and I'm thinking why did I go to the right wrong place why did I go to the wrong place 
it has to be some type of anxiety thinking that I will reach late so even though I had faith I doubted myself that I will reach late even a little bit because all the lights were green for me where I was supposed to pass I I just sat back after this whole episode now I I I arrived at the place at 4.01, 4.01 and they were still open, but the whole thing about it is anxiety makes you do a lot of nonsense. I went down the wrong street, I ignored my affirmation, I wasn't as much as how I said I will reach on time, I told God a whole the time for me which I believe he did I still was not a hundred percent having faith that in myself and having faith that I will reach on time anxious anxious is being uncertain of what the outcome will bring so you have a slight worry about what the outcome will bring. I remember reading this book um, by Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. In the, I think in the first two chapters, it talk about this warrior. He went to this, um, this country, this land, and he told his fellow soldiers or warriors, told them, burn the ch ships. We must win. We must win. We we win or we perish. So it have no going back. That is why he burned the ships, right? And that really struck me as in you have to have this type of faith in yourself in in what it is you do. Have this confidence that you are competent enough to get this done that if you want to be wealthy, if it is you want to chase your goals that you, you put all aside, you don't leave space for doubt. I mean, all of this is a learning process for me. I will not say that I am perfect in it when it comes to mindset, but I can tell you I am getting there when it comes to seeing things and seeing it happen affirming things seeing seeing it happen visualizing things and seeing it happen so it's not gonna happen overnight obviously it's uh something that continuously you have to practice you have to be consistent in it in order to get better right and as my mentor spoke about how he was so consistent and constantly at it when he had to when he before he became a millionaire um it just came back to me that you have to you have to go all in you have to go all in you have to put aside i'm sorry i'm getting kind of emotional but you just have to put aside everything and just go go jump and a net will catch you jump and a net will catch you okay i had to take a little break in filming but all i'm trying to say is go jump because your dreams are waiting for you and it will not come to you unless you go to it right it will not come to you unless you quote it uh first step into going after your dreams is mindset there's a link below click the link below trust me it's a life changer it will change your life it will change your life see you next time on chrissy's point of view Please like and subscribe and share if this vlog has given you value. Like and subscribe. Thank you.